Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back with another kicking action figure review. Today we are reviewing the Bandai America Shin Godzilla. Normally I don't review characters from the same line um, next to each other, like I just reviewed the Angiris. Normally I'd take a break with a different figure and then review the same line again. Uh, but I figured, what the heck, I already have it out of package. So here is... Shin, the horrific monstrosity. I saw when I saw this Shin, I had to have it simply because it's Shin. Shin Godzilla is my favorite movie, probably. Um, and then it's also my favorite Godzilla design. So really, any time I see a Shin Godzilla that I can get, I probably do get it. Incredible. Let's zoom out so we can take a look at the packaging here. You have Shin Godzilla on the front, 65 years, is a 2019 figure, legal stuff on the bottom, all the figures on the side. I passed up on that one, I might get it one day. This one's a re-release from 2014, I already have it, got it, wish I had it, wish I had it. Re-release from 2014, so I have it, have it, don't have it, don't have it. So that's that. These are the two I really want, but I, the rest of them are the ones I've seen. So, except Rodan. I've never seen him in the wild, I don't think. I might have seen him at the comic shop, but didn't get him. Here's some little ACBAs. Biogoji, Kamata Kun, or whatever his name is. Kiryu. There's a picture of Shin on the back. Technically, it's Godzilla 2016, but fuck that. So, let's look at Godzilla himself. Not a lot of articulation on this guy. It's just the legs. It's just the leggies. So that's that. But the sculpt is quite good. Uh, I really like how the head came out. Shin looks good with blank wide eyes. Not even, If they put a black dot on that, you wouldn't even notice it or it'd take up the whole eye. He's got lots of good red on him. I wish the spines had more paint on them. Lots of the spines are just black. I wish they had more red on the spines. But the rest of the figure is actually just fine. Lots of red on the tip of the tail. Yeah, so he's a pretty good-looking figure for this size. I mean, this scale, this is... This detail is almost too much for this scale. That's pretty cool. No accessories, so that's that. Now let's take a look at size comparisons. Let's compare him with a figure from his own line. Angiris. They look fine together. Let's compare him with a different figure from another small Bandai America line, the Pack of Destruction Gigan, who is much too small. Now let's remove them from the equation show off some six inches. Here he is with Movie Monster Series Gamera and NECA Atomic Breath 2001 just because six inches the main kaiju scale so I thought it would be nice to show off some figures in that scale. But what are my final thoughts on this Bandai America Shin Godzilla? Well he's very cool. I wish he had a little more paint on the spines but other than that I think he came out very well. Not a lot of articulation but I don't mind uh, it's just a small figure. I think adults and kids will enjoy it. So uh, definitely check it out. So that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll see you all next time.